Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Alexandra Tomaszewska. I'm a professional tax advisor in Ukraine. And today we will talk about how to open a company in Ukraine. There are some several important steps before you start business in Ukraine. First of all, if you are a foreigner and you are personally uh, the owner of the company, so you're going to be personally the owner or with partners, first step is to obtain the tax ID number in Ukraine. So you become the tax payer in Ukraine. Um, you don't need to be personally present in the tax inspection office. For example, you can use the service of trustee, but um, it takes, I can say it takes one week or about 10 days to get this number. Uh, you will need, uh, let me think, so you will need a passport, you will need the translation, the notarized translation of the passport. Of course, you will get the Ukrainian transcription of your name and um, you apply the form, you wait for a week and uh, the tax inspection will give you the tax ID number. It's important because you can't sign the documents of the company without the tax ID number. That's the law. Next step, you have to understand um, some important things you need for business in Ukraine. For example, uh, the name of the company, uh, the shares of the owners of the company. Uh, you need their legal address. It's perfect if you have real office, but if not, you can use, we say, a legal address. So you can buy the address. Um, mostly it's temporary, but it's very important to be able, in this case, to get the correspondence, to get mails, um, especially from tax inspection. So this address is mostly to communicate with uh, official uh, government government um, representatives uh, you have to respond on these mails <clears throat> but still um, legal address um, shares the authorized capital uh, so one important thing about authorized capital you don't need to put a lot of money there is no um, no particular amount that is necessary to put into business uh, this amount is supposed to be more than zero <laughs> in realness. Uh, well, but um, it's, it's like uh, not, not reasonable to not put some money because you will have some expenses. It's, um, it's reasonable to put some money in business. So mm, when you expect to pay first uh, expenses in your company, you, you can just make a, a, for example a forecast and uh, to apply your authorized capital as um, i don't know ten thousand dollars or whatever so um, it's more about real business it's not about uh, legal entities about the only one uh, thing you have to understand when you open some kind of licensed business like gambling and some specific things um, there could be some restrictions or some uh, obligations in this case but for example if you open the restaurant or you open the sports club um, there is no particular amount you can uh, you can put money into business only as you wish and then um, so I think I can say if you have all this information, you can uh, sign uh, the documents of the registration of the company in the notary office personally or through the trustee or uses the services such our company do, of course. And that's all you can I can say you have business in Ukraine. They all, the process, if you have all the documents signed, it takes one or two days, I think. Uh, so if you meet the notary Friday afternoon, on Monday morning, you will get business. 
Um, but the one important thing, uh, if you want to open a bank account, there is a director who personally visit banking um, office and personally um, be present. It's important to be present because uh, banking system. I think you know what I mean. Banking system will check if it's real business or if it's kind of scam. I don't know. Uh, so they do this monitoring, and they ha has to be. They have to be sure that um, the business is real and the person is not only like um, like not real business person. You know, not too young, not too old. So there are some monitoring things. But um, I can say that Ukraine is a good opportunity to start business. Ukraine is a really good country for that. Next time we will talk about the electronic digital signature and uh, the director of the company in Ukraine. This was Alexandra Tomaszewska. See you soon.